This is just a quick video to talk about what a derivative is. So for notation, we're going to let y be equal to f of x. And the goal is to find the slope of this function at x. So find the slope of y at x. So we want to find the slope of y. You might say, well, that doesn't make any sense. It's just a function. How can you find the slope of a function? Well, for straight lines, it's easy. If you have y equals 2x plus 1, uh, then that matches y equals mx plus b. And so we see the slope is m equals 2. So in calculus, the notion of a derivative tries to extend the concept of slope to things other than straight lines. That's basically, basically what it is. So let's go ahead and draw a picture of our function. Let's assume that it looks like this. And maybe here's x. So we want to find the slope of this curve at this point right here at x. Now if this is x, then the y value here is going to be f of x. And so the way we do this is we pick another point, say over here, and we call this point maybe x plus h. So that this distance here is simply h. And the corresponding y coordinate is up here. And let's see, if the x coordinate is x plus h, then the y coordinate is f of x plus h. Then what we do is we draw a line that connects these two points. This line has a name. Okay, this line is called a secant line. Secant line. So what's a secant line? It's just the line connecting those two points. And what we'll do is we'll approximate, or rather find, the slope of the secant line. So slope is rise over run. So we have the run. The run is clearly h. We just have to figure out the rise. Well, we know that this distance here is f of x. And we know that this bigger distance here is f of x plus h. That means that this distance here is going to be the big distance minus the little distance. So it'll be f of x plus h minus f of x. So let's go ahead and write that down over here so we know that the slope of the secant line, secant line, can't spell it, it's rise over run. And so this guy here is the rise. So it's f of x plus h minus f of x. And the run in this case is simply h. All right, now here's where you have to use uh, your imagination uh, just just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to let h get closer and closer to 0. So as h gets really, really close to 0, so we write that with a little arrow. So as h approaches 0, what's happening? Well, as h approaches 0, x plus h is going this way. It's going to the left. And as it goes to the left, this point here is going to travel closer and closer to this point. So when that happens, let's see, let's pick up a, a stopping point, say here. When that happens, you're going to get another secant line. And when you're here, you're going to get another secant line. So eventually, you're going to reach a line that just touches at x, right? The secant lines will approach this other line here. This line here is called a tangent line. Tangent line. So as h approaches 0, the secant lines approach the tangent line. So let me write that down. The secant lines. approach another line called the tangent line. So approach the tangent line. So that means that the slopes of the secant lines approach the slope of the tangent line. So the slopes of the secant lines approach the slope of the tangent line. Let's go over that one more time. We're almost done. So we draw this picture. We pick two dots. We connect them. We call that a secant line. We find the slope of the secant line via the picture. This is the slope of the secant line. And then we say as h gets really, really close to 0, this point here travels to the left this x-coordinate here, this x-value. So it's going this way. 
When that happens, this point is going to move down the graph and you're going to get lots of secant lines. So all of these secant lines eventually will reach here or they'll get very close to it. So the secant lines approach this other line which we call a tangent line. So because the secant lines approach the tangent line, the slopes of the secant lines approach the slope of the tangent line. We can write that down using calculus. We can say the limit as h approaches 0 of the slope of the secant line. So that's this guy here. So if we take the limit of the slopes of the secant lines, this is equal to the slope of the tangent line. at x. And we call this the derivative. When this limit exists, we say it's the derivative of f, and we write f prime of x equals this limit. So this is the derivative of x. It is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at x. Let's do a concrete example really, really quick. So simple, simple example. Easiest one. Let's look at f of x equals x squared. So this is a parabola. Looks like this. Boom. And let's find the derivative at x. So you probably already know how to find derivatives if you're watching this video. So you take the 2, you bring it down using the power rule formula, and you subtract 1 from the 2. So you get x to the first power, so just x, so 2x. So this is the slope of f of x equals x squared at x. So to make it more concrete, let's look at f prime of 1. Well, we plug it into our slope formula, right? It's a slope formula. It's a slope function, and you get 2 times 1, which is 2. So we're saying that the slope of f of x, or more precisely, the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f, so the slope of f of x at x equals 1 is 2, right? Because this is the slope. So it's a slope function. So the tangent line, maybe, here's 1, maybe the tangent line looks something like that. So 2 is the slope of this line. One more really, really quick. Let's look at a simpler function. f of x equals 3x plus 7. So taking the derivative using the derivative formulas, the derivative of 3x is simply 3, and the derivative of 7 is 0. So we get 3, and that makes sense. This is a straight line with slope equals 3. For every x, right? So the slope of a straight line doesn't change. But for other functions, the slope does change, and it could change, and it certainly does. So that's why we use calculus. That's why we use derivatives to find the slopes of functions at various points. So hopefully that made some sense. I kind of just rushed this video and made it up on the spot. So that's it.